Hey everybody, Don here again. <laughs> I'm with two very good friends who I'm just meeting for the first time, but I feel like I've known them for years. This is Rick and Tim from Two Brothers Outdoors. Uh, I've been following these guys since I think you had 75 subscribers when I joined up. Forever. Uh, for a long time, and they have blossomed. Uh, there are over 5,000 subscribers now. And I'm over here, we're in the Southern Adirondacks of New York. These guys do a lot of logging, sawmill videos, but they also hunt out of some, uh, what I always joke about, they're condominium type uh, uh, <laughs> elevated deer blinds. And so I'm on the property, they're gonna take me out and show me their blinds. And they have been incredibly generous enough to cut lumber for me to build my own elevated blind back over my food plots at home so guys i'm well really happy. Don, we felt sorry for you with the cardboard I one know, come right on. come on <laughs> <laughs> that's uh well okay we so a little cardboard. pity little pity goes a long way on <laughs> you're, youtube you're right guinea pig for the kits <laughs> all right i'm the guinea pig for the yeah. kit so uh, but yeah, we're gonna cruise on out back here, and I'll be putting a bug net on real soon because yeah, these black of us will. these black flies are kicking in up in New York. See you in a little bit. You got trout in there by any chance? That's my trout hole. That's pretty deep over there, yeah, huh? That one's about seven foot deep. I got two minnow traps in there. I'm trying to catch minnows. This. I think catch minnows. Put them in my trap. Ooh, a little soupy. Been a wet spring in New England. Understand. We have had a lot too. There okay. you go. Yeah. How big is this? Six by six? Six and a half by six. Six, 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 six by six six. Six and a half tall. Awesome. All right. Check this out. Nice. Sweet. Carpet is not optional. Carpet is a necessity. I happen to have a nice big piece of it too. Now the little buddy heaters, they work all right, but you burn a lot of little one pint. Yeah. Heaters. So I got this like at Walmart for 49 bucks. Nice. And then a uh, big tank last. We've been in, I've been in here in 20 below zero. Yeah. And take my coat off and. So what do you have for a pitch? Was that about six inches six taller? Six and a half foot to six foot. Six foot. That's what I want. And these are old storm windows right here that were taken out of the frames. Okay. And if you can see right here, you put a board here, board here, and then a little lip board to Slides. Like, nice. Hey, uh, the buck I killed this year came down this hill. Yeah. Right down in here, and then between here, between the two big stumps and the bucket is where he'd stop to eat. Nice. What do you have planted there for your food plot? What is that? That is some kind of deer mix that we bought, and then once the uh, once we get halfway through summer, we start 
spreading oats every week. Okay. We can buy oats from the local farm store in a 50 pound bag for 12 bucks. Nice. Nice. Oh. Yeah. A lot better than the food plot mixes that yes. uh, the big companies sell. So we buy a 50 pound bag of oats and that lasts us pretty much all season because we just sow it out there every week. Um, just top just top dress it, right? Yeah, just just throw yep. it out. Yeah. And like I said, the deer won't eat the oats when they're whole, but once the oats start sprouting, they love them. I'm looking at the construction on how these guys have put this thing together. And it's, I, I, you know, I'm trying to think of, it's going to be hard for me solo to build this thing. What I'm intending on doing is you building the walls individually. You still have a tractor, right? And use the tractor to lift it up. Right, so... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain to you how we did it, and then you can go from there. Okay. But... All right, on to the next one. Just missed two deer going that way. Did you? Yeah, they just took off. Oh, no, I missed it. Must have been in the That's awesome. This is the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal, okay. <laughs> I thought Rick's was pretty nice, but I, I guess we're gonna yeah. we're gonna see yeah. a few say few that, more amenities here. Is there? Say, say that again, Tim. Well, well, say that. This is an old tree right here, Don. Got one here. Yep. One there, oh one yeah. There, one there. All right, get ready to say this is the Taj Mahal. Two sides He's got Venetian blinds. In his in his tree stand. All right, I think we're in for a different level of luxury. I don't know. Here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. You see this right here? Yeah. That's where that buck, that eight point came down through the valley right here that I couldn't get a shot on. He got right down in here, turned around, went running back up. Yeah. That's that one I couldn't get a shot on. He watched me all the way from he, down through here, through that window. Could I see said, through that window. I said, that's it. No if more. I knew he wasn't going to shoot him, I could have shot him. Oh, him. man. No, you couldn't. Guys, everything except for a bed, and that's probably going to go in this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These cheeky blinds from Walmart, and they're nice. That's awesome. But there's there's where he came, right down by that stump right there, and I couldn't Oops. get a shot out. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is nice. Not too shabby. He likes to live the high life. Yeah, I guess. So. And then this back here. too much money and don't have a wife to spend it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that problem. Or, or should I say, I don't have that luxury. But you know what, Don? We learned so much this year because with Rick being so close, I was sitting here watching him. And he could see maybe what was behind you that you didn't right. see, right? But, but I'd get on the radio and I'd say, do a, do a butt grunt. Burp. Oh, yeah. He reacted. I said, do a bleat. Meh. They wouldn't do nothing. Meh. I said, a little louder. Meh. Nothing. Do a butt grunt. Burp. They both look up. No said, kidding. It was so cool to watch their reactions that I'm like, this is so cool in itself just to watch what they respond to and what they're not responding to. So I, I told you I had a ground blind on my food plots. I'd never killed a deer off of it, out of it. But like you just said, I've learned a ton yeah. by sitting in there and trying to interact with deer, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's wicked. So how long did you guys just build these last, last, year? last year? So you had one one hunt through them. Yeah. And he well, one, one season, I should say. He killed a buck through his already. He yeah. Shot, he could have shot a buck from his if he wanted to. No, I couldn't. <laughs> Tim's, uh, you know, I mean, they're basically the same size. He's got a few extra accoutrements, <laughs> you know, to make it uh, a little more comfy, but it's, uh, it's pretty darn nice. I don't know if the bed he wants to put in is a smart idea unless he's going to come in the night before. Because I think he'll be sleeping when the deer come by, but that's good for you. That's good for me. Yeah, that you know that leaves it to you. And he snores, so I'm thinking either it'll. Drive oh, there! It'll drive him. It'll drive him your way. Drive my way. Have an alarm him. clock. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I became sold on trees or on blinds like this when I went to CJ's, um, and I just 
now nah, after seeing yours as well i mean that's uh, that's we definitely have, the route i want to go we have a couple of wi-fi cameras you can't uh these are awesome i can't wait to get mine going up just as long as you get an idea of the construction line because it's very simple <laughs> yeah i got it figured out we gave we gave you extra stuff and a lot of the stuff you'll have bark like from uh, uh, the, the six and a half foot mark up, but you're only going to need six foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see a newt. Hello, Pop. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Don't see nobody shooting today. You're outside. Nice Bye. piece of ash over there, huh? Yeah. Everybody likes a good piece of ash. <laughs> <laughs> I got to check out the mill. I was going to let you uh, actually saw a little bit if you want. Really? If you're interested. That's freaking... What do you got in there? A piece of cherry? Piece of cherry. So yours is the homesteader. Yours is the Patriot. Yes. Yeah, this is bigger. It's considerably bigger. Yeah, I can cut thirty. I can cut thirty-three inches wide. On this. Okay. What, what can you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Well, that's still a big tree. Well, I told you I've been thinking about a sawmill for years and years and years, and I don't think at this point in my life I'm probably going to get one. As you say, it's addictive, but I, I also just don't have enough property. I got plenty of timber, but I don't have uh, enough to make it, you know, profitable. Well, you always have plenty of neighbors that say, hey, can you cut this log up for me? Yeah, yeah okay. Do you want this log? That's what yeah, you want. That's, yeah, I like that idea. See this scale right here? Yeah. All right. This is actually how far your blade is. From, from the bottom? From the bottom. From the bar, yeah. Okay. So when you're on one inch, like right there, that blade is one inch from the, the crossbar. Okay. The deck, they call it the deck board. All right, so if you want to cut one thick inch board, put these part here. That allows the blade part of each board that comes off. Let's say we start right here. We run it through, then it goes here, then it goes here, then it goes here. Allows for the curve. So these four come off exactly one inch thick. Then you got five quarter, five quarter inch and a half, yeah. Eight All, right. All right. Don't ask me to do math. No, that's why they make the scale like that. So you don't have to do math. That's the easy part, Tony. Yeah. You lay the saw, push this over, yep. it'll stay. Go through the log. Push it back. And then if you get on through the log, you got to that back, right on down. You gotta raise the saw. Hey, here goes nothing. couple of these live edge slabs if you want to for future deer mounts. Your choice. Pick what you want. Or shelves or whatever you need. Sweet. What do you think of sawing? That's cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You did good. I you want one. Good. I want one. <laughs> Harbor Freight sells them. <laughs> no way. Yeah they do. Yeah they do. They're small but they sell them.
few two by fours and battens up there. And this is a full trailer load. We're, uh, we're pushing this trailer to the max. That, that is a trailer load of wood. Uh, the first prototype kit, yeah. kit, kit of a, uh, a two brothers tree blind. Tree I don't fort. know. Tree stand, <laughs> ground blind, elevated deer blind. Tree fort. That's what the wife calls it. Tree fort. Tree fort. Yeah. So <laughs> probably be a month or so before I start working on this thing. Cause I got a lot of other projects, but guys, it was great to meet you finally. Good to meet you um, too. I'm looking forward to some more get togethers hopefully i won't be bringing wood maybe i'll bring my kayak over yeah, we'll bring kayak, kayak over. some of those yeah. rivers but yeah. we'll see you next time if you're not subscribed to my boys here at two brothers outdoors give them a look subscribe to don too he's got a great channel absolutely yeah, it's okay all right thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time peace peace, <laughs> peace. there you go <laughs>